people thought it was a fool and <laughs> did not understand why someone from California would go to make wine in Vermont. It was the best decision I've ever made. Krista Scruggs has always been a bit of a rule breaker. My mom raised me you know, under the philosophy that a closed mouth doesn't get fed, meaning like if you want something, you ask for it, and if you don't get the answer, you, you figure it out. I honor tradition, but you know, when tradition also doesn't, doesn't represent you, I think you have no choice but to break those rules. As she worked her way up in the wine industry, Krista didn't see that representation much of anywhere. Being a black queer woman in America, there's not many industries that I have, that, 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 that people have to look around and, and see examples of themselves. And she noticed a lack of diversity in the product too. The bottle of wine can contain up to 300 uh, additives. It started to resonate with me that there are a lot of steps in that process that people uh, take to make it um, quote unquote stable on a shelf that every time you buy it from the grocery store, it tastes the same. And that then turns that grape into a manufactured product. So Krista began charting her own path, learning about natural wine, a process of winemaking where nothing is added or subtracted. To me, that's truly what it means to be a winemaker and a grower is just to listen to the land and to the fermentation and, and put our ego aside and our, our hand aside and then let it be what it is. And I think there's beauty in that. In the hopes of owning her own land and wine label, Krista left wine country for farm country four years ago. I think what was enticing to me about Vermont was just that it was uncharted ground and that I saw that as opportunity to tell a different story that has not fully been told. A year later, after an apprenticeship with the Garagista Winery, Krista launched her very own label, Zaffa Wines. To be captured in a vintage in a year um, is something that I still can't put words to and still I, I still get chills. In keeping with her philosophy, all of Krista's wines are made by hand and foot. We foot crush all the grapes. I'm not gonna lie, there's, it's a workout. It takes about two hours to get it to the consistency that I, that I typically like. And timing wasn't her only obstacle. In uh, 2017, the vineyard was annihilated with Japanese beetles, so I just saw it as like an opportunity to just to be more creative and not be beholden to what wine is supposed to be. Krista began combining apples and grapes to make special hybrid wines. They lost something to gain something else. And almost right away, she gained national attention. Wine Enthusiast Magazine naming her to their 40 under 40 list. I'm inspired to be a voice for agriculture and the importance of land ownership, the, to be a voice for equity. The end goal is to do something that's bigger than just a bottle of wine. Just weeks ago, Krista fulfilled her mission, getting the keys to her own farm, and with it, increasing representation for black farmers. Only 1.4% of black Americans own land, and Vermont, out of 7,000 farmers, there's, I am now officially the 18th black farmer in Vermont. Me having access to land to farm, is, there's nothing more political than that that I could be doing in America. A reminder that breaking old rules often pays off. I look at my life right now, I didn't think that there would be a Zafa, but the path has kind of created itself, and it's a reminder that I'm just doing what I should be doing. Oh, it just looks so peaceful. I just want to jump through the screen. Krista and her team planted more than 2,000 vines on her new farm. That wine will be ready to go in another four years or so. Talk about patience. In the meantime, they are working to get a tasting room built on the property that they hope will be up and running by next summer. A good excuse. You know, I've never been to Vermont. Let's go. Dylan. Really? Have Let's you guys? Go. Well, in Let's four years, when that wine is ready, <laughs> we can all not be socially distant. In four and, years. Yes. And we will cheers to that. Put it on the calendar. Really good story. Okay. Coming up in over.